everyone it's lisa i wasn't gonna make a video about this but it's so delicious i just had to share it i'm actually making spaghetti squash and this is the squash that i have i actually wasn't gonna make a video however i had to share this because it is so delicious this is spaghetti squash i already started the process so i'll just go over it really quick with you squash you get any kind of squash except butter squash i don't know how that would work out butternut squash but any kind of other squash you can use for spaghetti squash. And what I did was I cut it in half. I took out all the seeds. Let me show you the seeds. These are all the seeds that I took out. I'm actually letting them clean. I'm going to actually roast them tonight in the oven. And I'll make roasted seeds. I did this last year and they were absolutely delicious. So here I got the squash. I cut it in half. Um, I, you know, took out the seeds and the pulp. And I went on ahead and I added a little bit of salt and I put some olive oil, drizzled olive oil. I turned it over and I made some holes in the back and drizzled olive oil on it. And it is so good. Now I'm going to go on ahead and I am going to add the meat sauce. And I made the meat sauce. I did use a jar of traditional sauce. But um, I went on ahead and I added peppers and I sauteed onions and mushrooms. And it's just really good. So I'm going to go on ahead and put the meat on the squash. Then I'm going to add some cheese on top, put it back in the oven for a few minutes, and then we'll sit down to have dinner. It is just really quick, very delicious, really, really good. So let me go on ahead and get some here. Like I said, this wasn't planned. This was a last minute thing. I was like, I need to share this because it's just really a delicious meal to have. It's just really, really good. And I like the way I made the sauce because I added my own diced tomatoes to the sauce also. I just used a regular like jar of Aldi sauce and I'll show you what jar I used. Okay, so this is the jar here. It's called Re Regno Traditional Pasta Sauce. So I just added onions peppers um what else onions peppers and mushrooms i added to that now i'm gonna add the rest of the meat to this so you know this is always great i know it's a lot of sauce but i'll have sauce for spaghetti for another meal so you can actually get two meals out of this this is really good now i'm gonna get some shredded cheese and i'm gonna add some shredded cheese to this and it's a lot healthier than using pasta. So this is the cheese that I use. It's the Mexican style blend cheese. It has the mozzarella and the regular cheddar cheese. So that's what I use. And it's from Happy Farms. You can see it right there by Aldi. And I went on ahead and put it back in the oven to allow the cheese to melt. And then we'll sit down and eat. This is a very simple, quick meal to make. I mean, it takes time for the squash to, you know, soften in the middle when you put it in the oven. I left it on for 45 minutes and then I checked it. Then I put it back in for five or 10 more minutes and then it was done. So it, that process takes like close to an hour, but still it's really easy to make the sauce. And this is just a really delicious meal. Everybody have a great night. Like I said, I know this was not planned, but I really had to share this recipe with you. God bless you and have a great night.